Welcome back everyone and this is your super combo workout, Tabata plus yoga. So let's begin right away with quick and effective warm up first and I will give you a heads up what to expect. So step wider guys and prepare for your dynamic ankle touch into the side lunges. And try to pick up the pace with me so we can wake up and warm up our body very quickly. We have three quick warm up exercises today and then we will begin our Tabata training first. We have three different no repeat Tabatas today. Your first Tabata is your body weight cardio Tabata. Your second one, guys, is your Tabata with the dumbbells. And the third Tabata is a combination of your body weight exercises and exercises with dumbbells. And third Tabata is focusing on your abs and your core. Give me a few more of these reaches. We have four guys, three, two, and we're gonna move to that warm up exercise number two. Take your arms nice and wide. This is your knee lift and rotation, guys. Make sure that your arms are not flying around. Your arms are strong, extended, and steady. We're lifting the knees and we're rotating, guys, through the torso. So, for our Tabata with weights today, I'm gonna be using eight pounds. It's a pretty challenging way for Tabata, simply because we have to do our absolutely best for 20 seconds and go pretty quickly. So you guys feel free to pick up a lighter weight. Give me a few more. We have four, three, two, and one. In your final warm-up exercise today, it's getting hotter here, is a regular squat with arm reach forward. That's going to bring our heart rate up even faster to use our arms up front. Try to squat all the way back into the heels. Very good. And once we finish, guys, our three no repeat Tabatas, we're gonna take those three one more time from the very, very top. Yes, you've got this. So we total have our six Tabatas today to complete. Three different, and we will take three from the top. So each Tabata, as you know, has eight cycles, and each cycle is 20 seconds work and 10 seconds to make a quick transition to your next exercise. Very challenging, very demanding. Give me a few more squats, guys. But this is a super effective calorie burner. Once we finish, six Tabatas, we're gonna move our quick and effective yoga session. Give me guys a few more, a little bit lower. All right, four, and three guys, and two, and one more just in case if you missed it. Come on up, reach all the way. Inhalation, reach to the side, and reach guys all the way to the other direction. All right, guys, fantastic work. Let's quickly drink our water. Hopefully you stay, feel warmed up. So eight exercises, guys. 20 seconds each. We have to react very quickly. Your first exercise, take a look on a demo, simple jumping jack. You can make this workout as low impact or as high impact is as you want. Just skip your pliers, guys. Do the tap out, reach, regular squat, instead the squat jumps. Give me guys a few more. That's it, till the very last second. Your second exercise is high knee run or high knee lift and fast punches, guys. Get ready, on the position and work right away. All the way, big punches, big knees. Don't throw your punches without control, guys. I want to see a really good, strong punch and high, beautiful knee lift. Finish strong, guys. Only 20 seconds. And one more rep. Excellent. That was hard. Non-stop, 10 seconds, very quick. Take a look on the demo. This is your squat kick, guys. Get ready. And more, guys. Arms all the way up front. Give me quality kick. Squat low did not fail your chest. This Tabata is gonna fly super quickly. 
That's it. Only 20 seconds for each exercise. Last one. Beautiful. Your next exercise, guys, is your plyo lunges, guys. Challenging, but we can do it for 20 seconds. Begin. That's it. Stay with me, guys. Stay with me. Don't stop all the way. Wider. You can replace it with a regular alternate reverse lunge. One more, one more. We are working, guys, till the very final last second. Next exercise, your fast squatted jacks on the position. Get ready, guys. Go, go, go. That's it, that's it, guys. Perfect. Give me only a few seconds. Stay in your squatted position, guys. Legs on fire. Finish strong, last one. Beautiful. Your next exercise is your plyometric ankle touch. You can avoid the hops, of course. Begin. Quick, quick, guys. This is a super quick movement. Breathe. We're not stopping. Go, 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 everyone. Only a few seconds left. Perfect. Three, two, one. Excellent. All right, guys. Your burpee. This is your cycle number seven. Do the steps if you have to begin. That's it. We have only 20 seconds, guys. Do your absolutely best. Perfect, guys. Perfect. Stay with me. Finish it, finish it, finish it. One more burpee, everybody. Come on up. Your final exercise in this Tabata. Your plank to Frogger, guys. On the position. Let's crush this. Do not procrastinate. Tabata is not forgiving. It's only 20 seconds, guys. Give me a good quality Frogger. Just lift it. We're working for the longer break now. One more, one more Frogger, everyone. That was amazing. Tabata number one is complete. Take a quick sip of water. We're gonna move to our Tabata with weights. This one is gonna fly pretty quick as well. So this Tabata definitely resembling the first one, but we're adding up weights. Your first exercise, overhead jack. Do the tap out if you have to. Squat, guys, push it up and over. Because we're using the weights, we cannot go super quick, but I want you to pick up the pace for this 20 seconds. Push it, last one. Last one, everybody, perfect. Keep your dumbbells. Your next exercise is your standing lower impact cross punches. Prepare, palms looking towards your body. Punch it out, all the way. That's perfect. Good job, guys. Stay with me. Only 20 seconds. We all can do it. Couple more punches. Last one. Excellent. Next one. Challenging. That's your squat bicep curl and kick. Take a look at the demo. Prepare. Let's work. All the way. We alternate the legs. Bicep coming up. Kick. Bicep coming up and kick. Bicep curl. Okay, guys. Don't throw your legs. Give me quality kick. Always control. Last one. Excellent. Come on back. Along your mat with me, we have reverse lunges with a tricep kick. Begin. Give me super strong, defined kickbacks. Don't throw your weights. Extend. Front knee, guys. Behind your front toes on your lunges. Just one more. Fantastic, guys. 
Number five, that's your squatted prisoner. Super tough, arms up front, prepare. This is only half, guys. Touches the knee on the floor. Do not stop, guys. Do not stop. Stay, 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 stay. Oh my goodness. My arms are shaking. Finish strong. Finish strong. One more. Beauty. That probably was the hardest one for me so far. Next one, your overhead arms. Straight arm, ankle touch. This is hard. This is your belly fat. This is your back, obliques, and your arms, guys. We got this. Good job. All the way. Lift those ankles, guys. Last one. Good job. All right. Your burpees right here. We're gonna add a front raise to your burpee. Step or hop, begin. All the way, lift. That's it, front raise. Try not to swing, guys. Not to swing. Fast and furious. That's a property of Tabata. Reach, guys. One more burpee. Last one. We never want to stop halfway, right? All right, guys, so on your plank, your plank to your program with bicep. Let's do it. And this exercise will take us to our longer break, guys. Step to your plank instead doing the hops. Stay with me, guys. Breathe, one more frogger. We've got this. Next blow, guys. Tabata two is complete. Tabata three. Next block is furious. We will be alternating your body weight exercises with exercises with dumbbells. Each and every one, we're going to switch. That's gonna be super quick. You can't lose your time. But this Tabata is gonna fly super fast. All right. Dumbbells over hat. Your squat to crunch, guys. Prepare. Let's go. Come on, guys. Give me good quality. Squat over hat. This is a very tough exercise. If you have shoulder injuries, put your dumbbells, guys, on your shoulders. One more. Place your dumbbells, guys, on the floor. Get down right away. This is your push-up to stand up back to burpee. Prepare, let's do it. All the way, guys, up. Just like this. Come on up, guys, come on up. Good job. Set your hands a little bit wider than your tricep. Use your knees if you have to, one more. Come on up. Grab your dumbbells really quickly, guys. This is your drop squat rotation. We begin in a bicep clutch. Let's go. One, two. Stay right here. That's it. I want to see a good, steady quality rotation. Remember, this block focusing on abs and core. One more. We put our dumbbells already back, guys. Next exercise, theories, give it the best you've got. Your bare butt kicks, knee to elbow, begin your work. One butt kick, one knee to elbow. That's it, guys. You can't stop right now. Good job. Push it. Good work, last one, last one, last one. Grab your dumbbells, guys, right away. This is your skier squat. Get right under with those dumbbells. Begin. That's it. I like when we switch exercises a lot. Time is flying. Push it through, guys. Push it through all the way. That's it. Perfect, last one. Excellent. Dumbbells on the side. Safe place, 
get down to your downward facing dog. This is your downward facing dog. Side hip dip, let's go. Back to the dog. Quickly, guys. Side plank, hip dip. Dog, guys. Express to your dog fully. Make sure you control your shoulders. Last one. Come on up. All right, guys. Your dumbbell is optional for this one. Come on down on the floor. This is your roll up. Single leg lift extension crunch. Come on up. Let's go, guys. We got this. Up. We almost through. This is the bottom number three already. Last one. Let's do one more. Leg lift and crunch. Put your dumbbells back. Back on the floor, guys. You are both double leg crunch. Do the one leg at a time if you have to. That's it. That's good. Perfect. All the way to your sweet spot, guys. To your sweet spot. And one more crunch with me. That's it. Fantastic, guys. Come on up. Drink your water very quickly. Wake up. Realize we're already halfway through our Tabata training. We will continue with Tabata number one. We're taking those three back from the top cardio strings in a combination for the number three. All right. You don't need your weights. So I would put your weights slightly off the mat just for safety. Your first exercise, remember your jumping jack. Take a look on the screen, guys. Modify, do the top outs if you have to. Begin your work. Remember, when that becomes really tough, think about your whys, guys. Why are you doing this? What is behind your daily workouts, your health? Why do you need your health? So you can live your life to the fullest and serve others. Come on up. Excellent. Your next exercise is your high knees running and your punch. Prepare, guys. We're going to do it together. It's only 20 seconds. Punch. Nice, super quality punches. When that becomes tough, just remember, it's only for 20 seconds, guys. All the way. Finish it, last one. All right, guys, arms up front, squat to kick. I expect to see a beautiful, powerful kicks. Here we go. All right, that's it. Good job, guys. Perfect. Squat lower, kick stronger, guys. We got this. All right, team. Your plyo lunges coming up. Do your best. Begin and plyo if you can. Downgrade to reverse lunges, alternate. Let's do it. I don't even know which Tabata today is more challenging, the cardio strings or the mixed one. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below, guys, after the workout. Not right now. Which one was the hardest for you? All right, you are really quick. Squatted jack, guys. All right, get ready. Into your squat, everyone. Begin. Super strong, team. Breeze. Big smile. And we're doing it anyway. It is hard. You don't have to tell me that. But mine for success, everybody. Last one. That's the difference between doers and sinkers. All right, your plyo, ankle top. Prepare, guys. Replace it with a just ankle lift without little hops. Quick. This is your cardio. That's it. Awesome. Go, 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 go. Perfect. 
we have a few seconds left. Couple of reps. All right, your burpee. Your burpee is on the menu. You don't have to hop, do your steps. Let's go, begin. Let's do it, guys. One rep more is always better than one repetition less. Stay with me. That's it. Perfect. One more, guys. All right, we begin in a frogger or the plank, doesn't matter. That's your frogger to your plank. Step or hop on the position, begin. And just like a blink of an eye, we are on our longer break because this is your cycle eight of this Tabata number one, your cardio Tabata. One more. That's it. All right, we are for the little break. Drink your water, stay hydrated. We are more than halfway through our Tabata training today. Closer and closer to settle down for our yoga session. All right. For next Tabata, we are using our weights. Remember, if you have shoulder injuries, over hat with the weights, not for you. Just hold your shoulders, hold your dumbbells on your shoulders. Otherwise, we prepare for the jack squat over hat press. Let's go. Give me the quality, guys. You know what to do. Just up and lift it for my beginners, or if you just join the result driven people team that's who we are do your best guys all right next one is going to be your lower impact standing cross punches prepare lots of punches for the wall guys all the way good job faster stronger keep your arms 90 degrees above the floor that's it this is a challenging with eight pounds dumbbells. Last one. Beautiful. Next one. Remember your bicep curl squat simultaneous. Keep, we alternate the legs. Prepare, let's crush this one. That's good. All the way key, guys. Good quality squat into the glutes. Good job. Kick. No, no, no. Oh, we can't stop. Ups in and brace. Last one. One more squat and bicep. One more kick. Excellent, guys. Your next one. Cycle number four. Your reverse lunges with a tricep kick back. We can do it. Let's go. Perfect. Kick it back. Don't swing, guys. Do not swing, my friends. That's it. Finish it. Last one. Perfect, guys. Your next one. Remember the tough one. Arms up front, half prisoner. Oh my gosh, let's do it. Try to touch the floor with your knee. Hold your arms 90 degrees, guys. Brace your core. Stay, 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 stay. This is definitely the hardest one for me. Last one. Come on up. Perfect. Next one, guys. This is your ankle touch. Remember, arms over hat, straight arm down. One. This is your shoulders, obliques. This is your abs, guys. Go, 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 go. Lift. Finish that with arms over head, guys. That's it, last one. That was hard, all right. Your burpee with a front raise stand is coming up next, guys. Prepare, begin your work. You don't have to hop, remember? Front raise. That's it. 
we've got this. Can you believe we're almost through this Tabata number five? Last one. We go, guys, to the plank. Your next one. Final cycle. Remember expression, last one, the best one. Frogger bicep, let's go. Let's fit as many as we can. Good work, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Keep your chest lifted in your Frogger. That's good. One more plank. Come on up. All right, we're gonna put dumbbells relatively close on the next Tabata. Final Tabata, Tabata number six today. We are alternating dumbbells exercises and the body weight. So we're gonna be changing it quickly. Do not fall in sleep, guys. Cheers, drink your water. Let's do it together. You, you, you gotta be excited. This is your final Tabata today. All right, guys. Dumbbells overhead, remember? This is another challenger. Overhead squat or dumbbells with the shoulders. Then we crunch, guys. Ready? Pick up your pace. That's good. Only four exercises with the weights and four body weight exercises here in this Tabata. Last one. Beautiful. Put your dumbbells quickly, guys. On the floor. We prepare for the burpee push-up, guys. All right. Step wider, hands wider for the push-up. Not too wide. Do your push-ups, guys. On your knees, if you have to. That's it. Start strong. Start without your knees if you can. Come on up. Your third exercise, third round here. Remember your clutch position, hold on the hands. Torso rotation, drop squat, let's go. That's it. We got this, guys. Come on down. Perfect. All the way, one more, guys, one more. Finish it, your body weight. Your butt kicks in a bear, the knee to the elbow. Ratio one to one. Begin, guys. Give me quality butt kicks. I want to see those feet flying up, kicking that butt. That's good. Big ones. One more knee to elbow. We got this. All right, grab your dumbbells, guys, for your next one. Your skier squat swing. I want to see control in those arms. Let's go. That's it. Go, 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 guys. That's perfect. Oh, we got this, guys. Give me good skier squat. Good quality swing, last one. All right, next one. This is your dog to your side plank. On the position for your dog, let's do it. Maintain distance and clarity between your shoulder and your ear. As many as we can in our given 20 seconds. Stay with me, last one, guys. We got this. All right, next exercise. Cycle number seven. Your dumbbell is optional. Let's go. Crunch it. All the way, lift outside. I want you to lift, guys, your legs really, really nicely. That's it. We got this. One more. Perfect. You don't need your dumbbells anymore. Go ahead, guys. 
and prepare for your boat crunches. Legs up, let's do it. Keep your one leg on the floor, alternate your legs if you have to. We got this. Perfect. Give me one more just in case, everyone. Speechless. I'm so, guys, proud of you. Your Tabata 6 is officially complete. We're gonna be moving towards our no timer. Nice, relaxing, stretching yoga session. Drink your water and I will meet you guys on your mat. All right, my friends, we definitely deserve a good quality yoga stretches slash relaxation. And some actually, some of those are strong asanas. Go ahead, guys, and sit down on your knees. Send your hips all the way on top on your feet. And we begin this yoga session, the part of our workout for today. In our child pose, take a deep breath in. On exhalation, slowly, guys, rise. Come on up on your fingertips and round your spine. Relax your neck, just like we do in our cat and cow. And then slowly roll your body back all the way into your feet. And on exhalation again, come on up, guys, with me. Keep your fingertips, if you can, of course, if it doesn't hurt your wrist and your fingers, scoop the belly in. Go ahead and go back down for one more time. Sweat is rolling unstoppably. Come on up, guys, all the way. Fingertips, relax around the spine. And then slowly set your knees a little bit wider. Take your one hand in between. In the center line, open up all the way. Reach up. Good work. And go ahead and take your arm behind your back or even towards the opposite inner thigh if you can reach. No more timer, we are not in a hurry. And go ahead and take it back. Take your other hand all the way on the floor, right in the middle line. Reach up and over, look up. Take a deep breath in. And on exhalation, your arm behind the back or even towards the opposite inner thigh if you can reach it we hold it for a couple extra press here and then slowly guys take your hands a little bit more towards the front and we continue with a cat and cow uneven arm stand so your hands a little bit farther back of your shoulders we Targeting different compartments of the back and of the shoulders. Continue to roll your spine up, relaxing your neck fully and completely. And all the way back up. Let's do just a couple more up here. And exhalation back. One more time, guys. Beautiful. From this position, slowly lower your hips and you will find yourself in your cobra if you want to move to your upward dog when you wrist directly underneath your shoulders you can definitely do it this is not for everyone so take your hands slightly farther away take your chest up and open take a deep breath in and the next relation we're rolling guys our hips back into the child pose we continue with this flow through the top Hips down towards the floor. Very simple, very gentle flow for the back, but at the same time, a very effective one. Good work. Have we spent a good amount of time standing today? And let's do just a couple more. Reach up and open. Exhalation back, guys. One more time, everybody. Reach up. And open, shoulders up, back and down, and expand one more time. This time we're going to bring our feet a little bit up to increase the stretch in the back, in the hips. Go ahead and take your feet, guys, on the floor. 
through the kneeling position or right away with me, we find ourselves in a downward facing dog up here. Relax your head. This is one of the most important things in your downward facing dog. If you are a beginner, welcome guys to the practice. Yoga will change your life. I promise you that. Reach your heels for my beginners up and bend your knees. Shift your body weight back towards the hips and you can practice this way your downward facing dog until your back will not let go. Remember your back is number one priority. We slowly take our one hand just like we did in our tabletop cat and cow. One hand in the center, another hand all the way outside. And beginners, if that's already too much, go ahead and put your both hands even. Stay right here with me right now or intermediate and advanced. We align our other arm right along the rib cage. Keep relaxing your head and neck. And let's switch, guys. Again, you can keep your both hands even. You can take these hands, this hand outside. Or for my intermediate and advanced, we align our arm all the way along the rib cage. Take your time, guys. Come on back to the center towards your plank and we will slowly release the hips one more time shoulders up back and down and this time we're going to drive our one knee to the side so your knee your hip 90 degrees and your ankle behind your knee we're going to stretch here just be right here lay down and put your forehead on the floor or lift your hips up and down with me for just a few repetitions, opening the hip flexor a little bit deeper, be very mindful, and then go ahead, drive this knee back, go for the other side, the same alignment guys, we make sure that the knee is a continuation of the hip and your ankle behind your knee. You can put your forehead on the floor and just rest there, right? Or you can tuck your toes and work a little bit deeper with me. Breathe in and breathe out all the time. Perfect. Let's do one more. Let's go ahead and bring our both knees back on the floor. Come on down. And while we're here, we will take our knees slightly wider put our both feet together belly on the floor guys put your forehead on the ground and just let your feet melt over the floor guys just let your feet melt over the floor this is another variation of the frogger or we also name it sometimes our reversed Bound angle on the front position. Doesn't matter how we name it. All is important. It does a good thing to our body. Stretching is very important. We can call it yoga. We can call it any other names and titles we want. But as long as we working in in our daily routine, at least a little bit stretches, this is all good. Let's hold it for another breath or two and then we will bring our both knees together extend your one leg keep your other foot lifted the same side elbow and shoulder which your leg is lifted and the opposite we're going to do our best to catch on our ankle if that's by itself already really hard we stayed right up here focusing on a good open form and the chest and the ribcage or lift your ankle off the ground. Another variation would be to using your strap or towel if you can't reach towards the ankle. Even though we can nothing, right? We bring in the hand closer to our ankle. We're still working on the lengthening of the back, guys. Keep on breathing. We will slowly let go this leg we're not ready for the other side yet. Go ahead and put your head on the floor and take this leg you worked 
all the way behind, roll slightly on top on the opposite shoulder, the arm which we're holding your ankle. And we're just resting here. We're gonna give it an extra press or two. If your foot is not reaching the floor, not a big deal. That will come. We do what we can. And let's slowly return back. We do exactly the same for the other side. So the other arm, elbow, shoulder stuck. Spread between the shoulder and your ear. We're not blocking the airflow. The same side ankle, which your arm is, and we're reaching across. Again, that could be strap towel or your hand, if you can reach it, that's very, very good. And we're just holding up here, or we're reaching that knee slightly over the ground, guys. We're making sure nothing is hurting in our body. Maybe that's a little bit uncomfortable or a lot uncomfortable, but you still can breathe and enjoy through in the tension let go with the press, with the time, then you are in the right place. If the tension is growing and doesn't let you do brace even, you have to change it a little bit. All right, let's take this leg down. We're gonna turn our head toward the side of our ankle, with our, our leg which was working, opposite shoulder slightly under, and we top, guys. Put your head on the floor, facing towards the working leg. Take your deep breaths in. Exhalation. Just holding it for extra breaths. It's a great one for the lower back, hips, and of course for your shoulders and neck. Go ahead and take it back up, guys. We will slowly rise up. And we're coming back to our downward facing dog. Today we're practicing low lunges and some side lateral stretches. Take your time, go ahead and reach your one leg up. Give it a good quality reach, guys. Shift the body weight back. And one step, two steps, or three steps, doesn't matter. We land this foot in between the hands. Front knee approximately above the front ankle. You definitely want to make sure to check your lunge position. Pull your knee slightly farther. If this is up here, say it's more square, this is not going to work, to say in short, because there is not enough space for your hips to melt down using the gravity. So we have to lengthen in a little bit farther than 90 degrees. Let's go ahead and reach up, taking our time, and on exhalation, send your one hand on the floor, simple lateral stretch in your lunge. If this is impossible, you must invest in your blocks, guys. Just a couple blocks, two, three blocks to have, so you can use them as your ground. The props are really, really important, much more important than you probably think, and it's gonna help you to improve your flexibility very quickly. Take a deep breath and we switch to the other side. Use the blocks on the side if you have to, guys. Inhalation. On exhalation, slowly, guys, step back to your dumber face and do. Both feet and hands on the floor. Relax your head and neck. Take a deep breath in. And we're ready to reach our other leg up. Give it a good stretch, guys. Shift the body weight away from the hands. In between the hands, you can always adjust your step after you touch the ground. Go ahead and find a good quality stance. When your knees are not folded inside, it's nice and square, using the blocks right away if you have to. Inhalation, exhalation, all the way on one side, hands on the floor or on the blocks. Heart open, expanded, feeling good. 
I already almost forgot about our top sweaty Tabata power Tabata workout. It feels so good, such a great combination for the body. Some good cardio, some good strings, and full body sculpting, and a good stretches at the end, stretches and core. Go ahead, guys, and switch. Reach all the way, express through the heart. Inhalation, exhalation. We're gonna give it another breath or two, and I will meet you guys back into your dumber facing dog all the way. Take your time. Relax your head and neck. I don't want this to end, to be honest. Feels so good. And let's slowly, gently land our knees on the floor. And we're ready to sit on our feet. I'm gonna do a few stretches up here. I will take you on the back afterwards for the final halasana or plow pose side to side dynamic ones we will change the angle a little bit mm -hmm. and hold the way to the other side and on the last two we're going to hold it a little bit longer your choice is here to leave the hips on the ground or to keep your hips propped with your feet very nice this is amazing stretch for the back chest in arms and let's switch to the other side guys that's it hips up and open try not to hang your arms uncontrollably we're still reaching expanding feeling the stretch all the way back down on the floor let's take the arms behind fold forward with me good job lengthening those arms Take your time and then slowly come on back. Let's go ahead, guys, and switch our seated position to our back. In halasana or plow pose, it's not for everyone. If you're not ready, you can simply keep your feet up above the floor like this or start to move towards your plow pose if you have some low sofas at home you can prop your feet on the sofa or on your blocks something steady right i wouldn't do it with a chair or books probably but find some steady surfaces to do so take a deep breath in make sure there is no body weight on your neck everything in the shoulders slowly undo your Pose. Go ahead and put your feet, guys, on the floor. Take the hips up. Lift, expand, feeling free. Close your eyes. Feeling happy, full of energy, rested. Continue to hold your bridge with me. Keep your eyes, guys, closed. And slowly, vertebra by vertebra. Bring your hips on the floor, put your knees towards your belly, feeling good, giving yourself a quality hugs, letting all the tension go from the body, again feeling rested, happy, healthy, full of energy. Everything starts with them. And let's slowly come back up, guys, and go ahead and sit with me. On your kneeling position or any other place your body feels comfortable reaching all the way up final inhalation and with final exhalation let's bring our both hands both palms up front of the heart at the sign of the gratitude because we grow we expand we heal we acquire through the gratitude. We must be grateful for everything we have in this life. Close your eyes. Say your silence, gratitude again for everything we have, for everything this life given us. Smile with your heart, guys. Open your eyes, share your smile with others. It might save someone's life today. And thank you so much for joining me. 
this workout today, your power to bada and your yoga practice is officially complete, guys. So rest well, recover well. If you're new, welcome to the team of the result driven people. Make sure, guys, to subscribe and don't forget to leave me a comment down below. I read every single comment that highlights my morning every single day. Share with me, we are a team. I want to know about your progress, about your struggles, and how else I can help you. I will see you guys all tomorrow.